I'm Jake Devenball, and welcome to Jake's Hot Nostalgia Show, a podcast where me and my friends talk about nostalgic moments and pop culture from our childhoods. We interview people such as actors, producers, composers, puppeteers, and more. We'll be sharing our favorite memories, talk about behind the scenes moments, and so much more. I'm your host, Jake Devenball, and welcome to this Jake's Hot Nostalgia Show episode. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show. I'm your host Jake, and my co-hosts that we have for this episode, as always, Chris Bixby, Ryan McCullough, and Matthew Johnson. How are you guys? Amazing. I've made my return. Oh, I haven't been in the yeah, Matthew's episode. making his return. He's back full time. I'm back. Yes. Well, yes. Good to be back. We missed you. Yes, Thank we you. did. You're welcome. Right. I don't think Jake did. Seamless Wyatt, to be honest. Yeah. Hopefully the viewers missed me. Yeah. I don't think Jake yeah. did. The, the viewers definitely did. Yes, right. today we got a special episode. Yeah, yes, a special yes, episode. Yes, We're the yes, guests. Indeed. Yes, indeed, Chris. So, the episode today is not just another episode, but this is a 20th episode. And, and no, everyone, we don't have a guest. Because <laughs> the reason why, there's a reason why it's just only, only four of us. We're interviewing ourselves, Jakey. We told you about yep, it beforehand. Yep, 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 it definitely is. Yes, right. we, we've, we've all uh, looked at some of your wonderful questions, and today we're going to be answering them. Yep. There's even yes. some funny ones Definitely. in there, so have a laugh, get a, a drink, and sit back. Get, get your drink. popcorn, get your popcorn. Get your popcorn, get, get all your movie theater snacks, and come back in 20 minutes. And then, eat your, and then eat your pizza, which I'll probably be doing in a few minutes. <laughs> I'm, Go well, get your dinner, come eat back. Eat your own, so... Put this on as a lullaby. This will put you straight to sleep. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so yeah, we've got questions yeah, through more like than YouTube. Yeah. We got Facebook, Twitter, email. If, if you if you think uh, if you if you just think of a social media, we probably have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have right. about everything. Yeah, or same with a place where you same can listen to us. We're probably on it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, yeah. There's yeah. so many we're on, questions. We're on everything except yeah, cable. really. Except yeah. what? Except cable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the next thing. Not. Or the radio. <laughs> or the radio. <laughs> this, this, this podcasts are on the radio. Put it on the radio. Come on, yep. please. Come on, you want. Yes, because we have access to that, Wyatt. <laughs> yeah, no, we anyway. just call, anyway. just call my radio manager. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk to Buzz Brainerd in the future. <laughs> anyway, all right, yeah. all right, yeah, Jakey, yeah, what... Or, what is the first question that we got? Hold uh-huh. on, are we going from YouTube or going in from the least? Because there's like a or the we'll start. Or... We'll start with YouTube. Yeah. So right, the, some things I'm gonna say coded. before we're gonna start off is that thank you oh so gosh. much for the support and everything. Yeah. Thank and you so for much the, for the 20th episode. It's really it, it gone quick. To be honest, for having already 20 episodes. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Anyway, Jakey. Yeah. The first yeah. Question. There's so many questions you guys ask us. So. Yeah, yeah get to the, it. we're always asking us guest questions if we get to answer your questions. Mm-hmm. Yep, indeed. All right, the first question start off, which the order of the questions, and it's going to be, you know, be me, Chris, Wyatt, and Matthew. And we're going to keep on doing that order until we have all the questions. So yeah. anyway, yep. the first question to start off is our good friend of ours, Cody the Dynamite Wiggle. Yeah, and, he, and, he has, yep, and he has three questions for us. One is that, what has been one of the best moments for doing this podcast? I think it's oh a question boy. for all of us, really. Yeah. And even the guests, honestly, hearing stories. Some of the people we've got, like, on our show, too, like, yeah, like come on, like, the host of Brain Surge, we got yeah. the original yeah, Fifth Wiggle. I think the host of Brain Surge is probably the most fun episode. We had a lot of fun with that. That one. was a good one. And then some of our recent ones, too, like Ricky Steve Boyd. Char- Ricky Boyd, Steve Charney. Oh, my God. Uh, Justin Notario. That was Steve fun. Steve Charney's well. episode. Yeah, that was a great episode, but I wasn't. Steven Anthony Lawrence. That Matthew, was don't like worry. a. He's coming back. That was like a dream come true for me because, like I said in that interview, I grew up watching Even Stevens and yeah. Cheaper by the Dozen, Cat in the Hat. So, you know, that was kind of a dream come true for me. Yeah. And we also have some great guests um coming this year that we have planned yeah. oh yes yes for sure we might even more have we might even top our funniest interview. and and here and here's one hint of our next guest your one hint is that this guest is actually the host of another podcast and big yep. Disney. yep you see what i mean when what he means when yeah. the episode comes oh yeah yep. keep your look out keep your eye out for okay. that um yeah they are 
for me, honestly, like, you know, me, you know, was the one who made the show and had three of you guys as co-hosts. Yes. And for my honest, for it's so much fun doing this because I, I, also I'm very glad that this podcast is not like just Barney or Wiggles podcast. It's kind of like exactly. you know, it's all, all shows. It's one. And, it, and it's very like amazing where this show is kind of like nostalgia. Which, exactly. Which have, which We're going back one, to our childhoods. Yeah. Which I have one question to uh, to all to three of you when to, to the very end, but okay. but yeah, it's very amazing for what what's come already. That there's so many good moments of the show that I don't really have personally have a favorite really at, at the same time. All right. Second question for him yeah. is: Are there any special guests you have planned or any, any or planned to have on the show? Well, yes. yes. Oh yes. Yes. Tons. Tons. It's not last year was big. So year. many. We both yeah, as the holidays kind of went by, we've booked some really fun interviews that we're really excited to, you know, get up and running. Right. Soon. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously we're not gonna say who they are yet, but yeah, you know, you'll 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 love them for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Ha ha. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep on look, uh, like I said, for you know, for future episodes of the show for this year, because okay. yep, and everything. And the, and the third and last question for him is: Do you have any plans on having any guest speakers to help interview with you? We're not saying who, but yes. We yes, can. we've actually talked a lot about that. We will be having a guest speaker to help on an interview that we're trying to get, you know, mm-hmm. going. Right. So yes. Mm-hmm. All right. So second. Now this isn't really a question, but it's more of it's a one of our a, guests. Amazing. Yeah, it's a, a very kind message from one of our guests, Philip Wilcher, who, for those who don't know, although most of you probably do, the original Fifth Wiggle on the Wiggles debut album. And Philip says, "Congratulations on the forthcoming twentieth episode. I have no mm-hmm. real question for you, but to wonder if you ever imagined." You would have achieved such a landmark number of interviews. It is such a credit to you all. Jake, Matthew, Chris, and Wyatt, continued blessings in all that you do. May you go from strength to strength. Yes, thank you yeah, so much for it, that. We never imagined this. Like Just doing this, watching podcasts and being a part is just amazing. Yes, and thank yes. you so much, Philip. You know, I've, you know, I've, and I've, you know, kind of kept in touch with Philip since the interview. We've talked a yeah. bit. He's yeah, really nice. yeah, me too. He even wants yeah. just Merry Christmas when it happened. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Philip is such an amazing man. Shout out to you, Philip. Um, you know you're very supportive with the show, and and I don't know. There's other there's other people that I know that that really supports it. They comment all the v, all the episodes and everything. Yeah. So you know, just yeah. Thank you for for just being supportive in general, and just you know, n- and watch the show. You know, so I'm, mm-hmm. and yeah. and for and for it's crazy to think about where. Where our sh- this show is the first podcast that someone got Philip on. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. Yep. Like that's just, that's that's just crazy to think about. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just awesome that didn't read yes. people in your stories, mm-hmm. like I said. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's see why it's gonna read the third. The next questions questions. come from a very good friend of ours, Matt Bingo, aka Bingo Production. From YouTube. Yep. What is the for his question for all of us? Most memorable moment from the show. For me, I think it's Steve, oh. especially with Harry. Dying oh up. my gosh, yes. Yeah, you know, the funny <laughs> interviews we've done, like Steve and Anthony Lawrence and Steve Charney. Um, we yeah, put the two of them together. Those oh guys my gosh, are, that'd be... Oh. That would break the podcast. Those guys are really funny. Like I just said, you know, I grew up watching Steve and Anthony Lawrence on TV. And Steve Charney, I grew up watching him on YouTube, mm-hmm. watching his routines with Harry. And oh my gosh, they were some of the funniest people. Honestly, some of the funniest people I've ever met, to be exactly. Um, but yeah, just you know, like we mentioned uh, during Cody's question earlier, is you know, just having these people in general, just getting to talk to these people, hearing their stories, how and you grew they, up with them watching them. Yeah, how they began and what they do, like how they began acting or directing, producing, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah, so I, it's just getting to hear everyone's stories. It's mm-hmm. most memorable moment to me. What about what about you, Matthew? What the most most memorable moment from the show? 
Uh, I don't know. Ever anything from the anything from the from the brain church episode was really fun because yeah. that was just a really yes. fun episode. Yes, but yes, having and Jeff we... Sutton on, it was yeah, a, it, that was incredible. It's yes. me watching Brain Search and and the modern version of Figure It Out, which yes, is also Jeff... the host, not just Brain Search. And 101 Ways to Leave a Game Show. Yes. Love that. Yeah. Should we talk about and Jeff Sutton, if you're watching this, we would definitely love to have you back on in the near future. Yeah. yeah. Possibly with another Nickelodeon game show host, hint, hint. We all laughed and stuff, and it was really fun. <laughs> yes, it was yes. awesome. Yes. Favorite guest is the next question. <sighs> there's so <sighs> many. There's so many. There's like, so many. Like Steve, Steve, like Steve Chani, yeah. Um, I would Tyler. have to say for me, there's, uh, there's, uh, I have to go with Calvin Lester because, I mean, there's amazing people, but when you get local on the show, you just die laughing. Yeah, yeah. Calvin's awesome. Yes. <laughs> Matthew, that was may, we, we, may have, we may have we may have him back on. I feel like for me, Kyle Nelson was a lot of fun. Oh uh, yeah, I wasn't there for that, but that it was awesome. That, it was, that was me, Jake. That was me, Jakey, and Chris. But that was yeah. a lot of fun still. And also, yeah. And also, uh, Josh Martin was yes fun too. That was, <laughs> was like, oh my gosh, episode. yes. That was our that was second episode, crazy. wasn't it? Yeah, and the mm-hmm. first and the first guest was Puppeteer, you know, who did a lot, you know, from Muppets and worked mm-hmm. on the show. Uh, but having, having a guy who was in the Barney costume for our second episode. Yeah, that was my first appearance. Yeah, that was, yeah, that, that's awesome. That was Martin, that was, Josh Martin was awesome. great though. Yeah, Josh yeah. Martin and Kyle and, Nelson both were great. Fun fact for those who don't know, the Josh Martin interview, we had, we had to do uh, Josh Martin's interview very early in the morning. Nine a.m. Yes, nine, which least, hopefully yeah, that that's, knowledge, not, yes. that's not going to happen. Hope it doesn't happen ever again because um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but yeah. The first guest we had was was Bruce Lanoyo. He is he is a very nice guy, and awesome. it's, it's 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 so le- it's so a legendary moment that he is a first ever guest of the show. You know, how crazy was that? And it's the only interview we did in Streamyard. So um um and, amazing shooting. And I was you couldn't My, even hear me in that episode. But, yeah, yeah, you're gonna hear Matthew at all. My favorite <laughs> amazing guest. First episode. My favorite guest is probably Jeff Sutphin. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, oh man, the, and the, and the fact that he even made like a few references to brain surgery because like if you guys remember the interview when Jakey kind of introduced Jeff, he kind of did the thing where he runs out and he's like, ah, thanks mm-hmm. everybody. So, <laughs> man, I, just a, like, just a really also, fun episode because we were all laughing yeah. and we were yeah. having a blast. Yeah, some fun facts. If you guys saw that my camera was different, that's because my computer had to be unplugged because there was a storm, so I had to be in a different part of my house. Where yeah, there, but the show must go on. Yeah, the show noise. must go on. So it was no, very, but... it was very echoey. So my mic obviously wasn't in the best quality, but still, Jeff Sutton probably just, favorite interview I've done. Just, I, just yeah. for this nostalgia, Justin Otero is another one. Like I said, I grew yes. up watching Dory yeah, House, and it's still around to this day. This show's an amazing show. I actually recently you know, binge watching the show, and yeah, and it needs a reboot, in my opinion. If oh there's any history, come back it's now. Kinda like a, it's kind of like a Bonnie show in a way. We know, know he said he'd be down because we asked him. We asked him about that in his interview. If Julian yeah. Bell would come back, if he'd do it, and he said yes, he thinks he would. And Shayna was awesome as well, especially watching. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Okay, if I had Jay- to pick this. This, all right, keep going. I was going to ask the next question. If I had to pick five guests, okay. Steve Charney, Philip Wilcher, um, Tyler Jake, Bunch. I think the question was your favorite guest, not your favorite top Yeah, yeah, five yeah, Jakey, you can't alter this. <laughs> this next it's question. hard enough. It's hard enough. Jake, hold on, Jake, next question. What was going <laughs> through your head when Michael made an appearance? Thanks for the mention in the episode, by the way. You're welcome, Matt. You're welcome. You're welcome, Matt. What was going through your head? I'm kind of curious as well. Wow, I was actually I I I was kind of, I was thinking that it might happen, but at the same time you never know. But yeah. like, you know, Waco was actually there. Like that was yeah. that was cool. That yeah. Was cool. Yeah. Luckles. Yeah. Awesome. But, but yeah. But that I, was Chris's I, introductory to Bird Call as well. Yeah. 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 Yep. I wouldn't look for that Burkle, one either. Bird Call. Bird Call. And yeah. <laughs> if there's one yeah. in the future, you'll be. Well, able it makes sense because you know. You're not yeah. really, you don't yeah. really know much about Bird Call. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. you know it now. Right. Yeah, I know it. I well, I I knew it when when y'all because y'all. He knows that he kn- he knows he knows about as you know much as kind of we talked about in that interview. But who knows? Maybe if we have him back on, mm-hmm. you could have all four of us there. Yeah, 
yeah. yeah. It's very like kind of hard question. If I had to pick just only one guess, so. Two, Jakey, we're it's, off it's, of that question. Jakey, we're off that question. So. Matthew, that's the next question. We moved on. All right, right. right. <laughs> All right, Matthew, who's the next? Stephanie, the TV <laughs> show girl. Who Jakey knows? What was one? Of your, oh my gosh, this is the same. She has five questions. <laughs> you know, what was one of your favorite people? Did, do I just skip that one? Because we've answered. Yeah, that. we answered that. Oh yeah. 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 Who do you hope to get on the show? I mean, I had plans a, for Dream Crew, but I don't know if that's still yeah. happening or not. Uh, there's a bunch. She, I don't know if if there's one. Uh, there's one I would want to say. I don't know if I could say it. It was one of the ones we 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 were we got really excited about, but then we haven't heard back from him. I don't know if I can say it though. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, I think I might know what you're talking about. But for me, I'd love to get someone like more people from the Wiggles on or something. Yeah, or even Steven cool. for you. If, right. Yeah, if I had Brian Sapanek from Disney Channel or Nickelodeon shows would be fine. Disney or Nickelodeon, yes. I'd love to have yes. Brian Sapanek, who was amazing. Yes. One yeah. thing me and Chris probably would really want to get is Christy Carlson Romano would be really. Yes, cool. I grew oh, up. Oh my god! Well. And fun fact, she grew up in New England, which is where I am from and am still into this day. Uh, Interesting. Watch this. I don't know what her name is. Uh, the girl, the purple, the one of the Power Rangers went to Christian school. Watch to get her on. Purple Power Ranger. I don't think they're. I know it was the pink one. Pink. The original, Wyatt. The, the original Power Ranger Johnson, right. I think, because it was one of them. Get your colors yeah. right, Wyatt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Um. Hey. So. Jakey, what about you? Well. Really, that I know of right now, I thought it was two people Pierre Lenz and Carrie Stinson. Yes, Carrie Stinson for sure. Oh my gosh. And Bob was. amazing to get both of them on. Yes. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yes. Those people would be awesome. Definitely. Bob West, amazing. All right. <sighs> All right. So, how long do you think the show will last for? Now, you, you never we, know. We can't, we can't see in the future. We're not ready. We can't so. see in the future. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, we don't know. Not the uh, future. I mean, the whole, I don't. I, don't I, I honestly don't think it'll last forever. Obviously, because nothing lasts forever. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess. I guess the the only answer we really can give is we don't know. It'll just <laughs> it'll last for as long as we you know continue to enjoy it. Yeah. All right. So next question is from Zach Newland, and he has. Oh my gosh, wow. He has five questions for us. Wow. Yeah. First one is you're going to get all the OG Wiggles on your podcast in the future. I'm not sure it's, not I'm not sure. Sure it's possible, but that'd be yeah. like amazing, though. That'd be a dream come true, though. Yes. Yeah. Second question is that you're going to get Wiggles star on your podcast since he was a narrator for Thomas, Thomas and Friends? That's a good question. I know. would not. I would not bet on it. Ringo Starr would probably be like the most trickiest person to get. Yeah. A very, very, very low chance. And if if we manage, it probably cost money. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Jiggy, you skipped question three or four because we answered them. Yeah. All right. Uh, what? And it's, and it's kind of an interesting question that you said, Zach. Um, thank you for that. What's made you start doing the podcast? Well, okay. Here's like a short. Story about, yeah, yeah. So, so me and Matthew were actually both of us were we usually did a podcast that was on my that's actually my YouTube, which is called Happy Diamonds Podcast. Yeah. And then we did only one episode, which is Taya Fredrickson, who was one of the Jason Plus and some play along game member. And then, I, and then literally after that, we Kids didn't really do anything. That's made it to go like, higher or something, like that, and then we just have not very lack of motivation to end it or something like that. I, I wonder what shit light on the episode. That episode was terrible because yes, I, I agree. You couldn't even hear Taya. No, I I couldn't hear, so I didn't know what she was saying. So yeah. I, and I was interviewing her. Yes. Oh, trust me. If you go back and watch it, you can't even my, hear her at all. Sometimes. Oh my gosh, I was. I, I was like, what did you say? is so crap on that. Be, we, we, we would be like, can you repeat it? And I felt so bad because I couldn't understand a word she was saying. I was trying to interview her, and it was just yeah. so bad. Yeah. Great episode. The best episode that I've ever had in my life. Um, I don't so, know yeah. if we thought StreamYards was a good idea, but obviously yeah. they yeah. don't. Well, I knew we did it for the first episode, which Bruce Lane Oreo. And then after that, we just run on doing Zoom now. So. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. And Zoom is um, – Zoom – is amazing for doing interviews because there, there's yeah. no there's no problems or anything because you know Zoom is you know really good. Um, and then after that, 
I was, I think it was like, I think it was the July of last year where, you know, the podcast, podcast started, you know, yeah. I just want to make it like, kind of like where purple, purple words in a way, which I'm thinking why was, was, was you the one that want me to make the podcast to be, I think you was. know, what it is. And, you know, instead of being a Barney podcast, really, it be just all shows, you know, so mm-hmm. we can have a lot more episodes, like basically what Purple yeah. Road's doing, you know. And then you know, uh, we almost 200 episodes, which is incredible. And then I came along, and that was, you know, for those who don't know, for two years I was a part of the DJ Bob show, which I had lots of fun doing. Yeah. Interviewed some really nice people on there. Some of them we've had on our show later on. But, um,. Yeah, that was fun, and so I kind of used that experience with the DJ Bob show to, you know, do Jake's Happy Nostalgia show. And yep, <laughs> yep. And, and, I, and the the same the things I do for the podcast, other than you know, of course, interviewing, I did a lot of that same stuff when I was a part of the DJ Bob show as well. And you know, Bob's awesome. He yes, is. he's he's a cool friend of ours. Definitely. Yes, he's he's a cool dude. Yes. Shout out to you, Bob, if you're watching this. <laughs> yes. Um, so which I know, which I know he is, because he watches like every episode of our show. Yeah. Which that's amazing. So thank you yeah. so much for for watching the show, of course. And um, but yeah, it, it was Matthew, and then Wyatt, and then Chris. That made mm-hmm. the what, order. I think who, who was part, you know co-hosts. So yeah, mm-hmm. thank you so much for that question, Zach. Um, really interesting, really interesting question for that. Yeah. And so, I know all right, Chris, Chris gets the next ones. Next all question. Right. Hey, buddy. Corey Offman has three questions. First one <laughs> How excited were you when the Latin American Wiggles videos are finally out? Very excited. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I was excited. Really excited. Um, yes. Definitely. When yeah, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm not as excited now. Yeah. Only because, you know, we've had it. For since like the midsummer and i think the hype for it has kind of died down a bit but uh i know the next episode because the last few episodes we got were on this are on this website called cartoon channel so we saw those like weeks before they were even mm-hmm. uploaded on youtube but the next episode episode 14 or episodio i don't know how to say 14 in spanish hmm. but episode 14 is <laughs> you know new <clears throat> yeah yeah and we know, we know a bit of what we're getting in a, we know a bit of the repeats we're getting in some future episodes like hold on let me pull it up quickly yeah so episode right. <clears throat> episode 15 we're getting repeats of i look in the mirror and fruit salad mm-hmm. episode 16 we're getting a repeat of monkey dance live and the regular kenny point music video and episode 17, yeah. we're getting repeats of whenever I hear this music, a second repeat of Here Comes a Bear, and then repeats of Dorothy the Dinosaur and Five Little Joeys. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Chris, you want to know how to say 14 in Spanish? It's 14. Sounds like the name of a body part. Oh, is that how you say it? My gosh. Hmm. This is how you say it, Chris. Oh, wow. But yeah, it, it's exciting, and I'm... uh. And luckily, we haven't found any repeats yet that are going to be in episode 14. So who knows? Maybe episode 14 will be completely new, new episode with new songs. Yes. Yeah. I'll be am- not amazing that it really did. And then let's see. Did you say I'll be amazing. Yeah, yeah, he did. yeah, yeah. First set. Yeah, first set. I was like, well, we're keeping that in. You can't edit that part right there. Let's see. So, so, yeah, we got to keep that in. But all right, second question that Corey asked: Would you like to see play your guitar with Francisco? Yes. Yes, that would be, be awesome. Cool. There's be a awesome. ton of songs. That we're, we're not gonna get into them. That'd be another episode yes. all by itself. We, we have because there's a website. There's like a music database website, and we found a bunch of alternate Spanish titles for Wiggle songs. So those, assumingly, would be what Los Wiggles did. And play a guitar with Francisco. We've discovered under the name Toca tu guitarra con Francisco, hmm. which is cool. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of songs. You know, one song I really want to hear is Dorothy's Dance Party. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorite Wiggle oh, songs. May I mention this? And in one compilation, they put Dorothy's Dance Party was in, 
and then it ended up being Darcy's birthday party. They they put it under the oh yeah, for Darcy's oh, that's true. Dance party, and then they and it was Darcy's birthday party. So they didn't even know that. Whoever was the editor probably got it confused because Darcy's yeah. birthday party has a party setting. And yeah. So I guess it's Dorothy's dance party. Okay, third question from Corey. Have you heard of Jaden Wiggle, John Wiggle, and other famous YouTubers? Matthew, uh, Matthew has a response to this. I, I, I didn't know, what, no, no, I'm not bringing this up. I'm not, I, I just said I've heard of him. No, but they're not famous. Sorry. Well, I'll say Jaden Wiggle. I know he's the one who dances to Wiggle songs. Yeah, the John Wiggle's the one that got does there. stuff too. Does too. With Mickey Mouse background. But as far as famous YouTubers, I mean, yeah, I watch like... I watch David Dobrik a lot. I watch a bunch of the other famous YouTubers. Uh, I watch a Pokemon <laughs> YouTuber named MNJTV. Occasionally, yeah. I watch uh, Lance210. There's also the Pun Guys. The Pun Guys are amazing. If you guys don't yeah. know who that is, check them out. Yeah. There's two guys from Canada that go around to stores. Making to... puns. Yeah, it's just making puns out of everything they see, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah. My okay, my I think my favorite famous YouTuber is, um, is that I used to watch, which is Crubble Cop, Sogamin, um, Su- Sunday, and Jelly. But I don't really watch those YouTubers really anymore because I'm not really watch you know, some some yeah. famous YouTubers anymore. I don't know why, but there. Tarzan asks Jakey, if you like the Wiggles, which All I know right. you do, what what would be your favorite Wiggles video and why? Okay, I think it might be easy quest, easy answer okay, to three really of you because I think you guys already know. I know yeah, can I? I can even say it. I, I know what it is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Yeah. yeah. It, Jakey, is it yummy yummy 1998? Yes. yes. Yeah. There you go. You already answered it. Well, I why though? I knew, I knew that was. Yeah, that answer was the why video. part. <laughs> well, reason why Tarson that my favorite Google's video is yummy yummy 1998 version is because have the puppets in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which anyway, I, never, next question. Actually, I actually never get scared of the, of the Wiggles puppets. Well, I mean, they, just, they didn't really scare me as much as they creep me out. They didn't scare me either, mainly because I was not really all that young when I first saw it. I was probably, they, like, nine. They just creeped me out a bunch, and it was just yeah. weird. And I yeah, stopped, yeah, and I stopped yeah. being majorly scared of stuff. I, I never I never, I never, never creeped out by Wiggles puppets. You so. never creeped out by puppeteers? No. Uh, Jakey, 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 the way you phrased that was just n- not English. I, I was, I was, I was never creeped out. I, I never creeped out. Really? Yeah. Jakey, yeah. Jakey, <laughs> those puppets. Verbs. Yeah, there needs to be more verbs. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 The reason why is that that video is one of the most nostalgic, nostalgic Wiggles videos for me growing up, and I just remember yummy yummy a lot. That video a lot. So. Well, that's why. Yeah. Well, answer answer. Matthew gets to ask questions. Matthew gets asked Carson's questions. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've already. We yeah, got... we've already we've already really answered. I'll, I'll say it, yeah. but I I can just can I just do Carson since we've already did. The, yeah. I'll, I'll say Logan's question, but we've already answered it. One person that you want to get on the podcast, we've already we basically already answered that. Yeah. Earlier. Yeah. So, Carson Maitland Smith. We, will there be a review on Spider-Man No Way Home? Well, considering we uh, don't do well, uh, considering no, the channel is not, not a review channel. Entirely something we do. Not a movie review podcast. Uh, and it's and only podcast. Two, two, of the, two of the four people, two of the four hosts, only two of the four hosts have seen it being me and Jakey. Yeah. I mean, I can just give you a quick review that, me, that I, I, it's probably my favorite movie of all time currently. So. Yeah, I've so, heard a lot of good things true. about it. I almost yeah. saw it in theaters, but. You know, never happened. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When can, when can we expect? This question is more for Jakey and Chris. Actually, when can we expect Wiggle Roblox first Facebook Live? Well, and considering you, you guys got to answer that. Well, you're the well, considering none of them, they're just only Wiggles and they don't own Wiggle Roblox. And considering we're not Wiggle Roblox. Well, really, my answer is just I don't know. <laughs> That's to up honest. to Toby. That's up to Toby. Yeah, yeah you'd have to ask Toby because okay. Toby, he's the one who made Wiggle Roblox and everything. He's so. the owner. All right. The next one is: Are you going to talk about the the OG Wiggles reunion comic, or Chris Pratt as Garfield? I don't. I think he, okay. Maybe again, I have my opinion. I like Chris Pratt and all, but I don't, I don't know about Garfield. I, again, that's Garfield. not really something we do. We're not. We don't, that, we're not a news channel. Sorry. Yeah, go go no. follow a news. We don't cover news. <laughs> we don't cover news on movies and stuff. 
So that, that's a different podcast. That's I a- mean, if we were to interview people from those, then maybe. But like, the chances of us getting Chris Pratt are like zero to zero. Meet Matthew. Well, 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 like I said, with, meet like Matthew. Said probably crap our pants. Like I said with Ringo Starr, if we get Chris Pratt, it's probably going to cost money. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. This- probably <laughs> lots of money that we don't have. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, trust yeah. me. We don't have All money. Right. Somebody wanted us to donate charity to have her on here. All now. right. And the next question: Do you think Sir Leslie Longley should release the We're All Fruit Salad Tours 4 p.m. Melbourne show? Why does it have to be that specific? I show? know. I mean, uh, we already, I mean, we yeah, already. That would be cool, but we need. Well, it's, we already kind of got footage of We're All yeah, Fruit Salad Tour. On the we don't need we don't more. Need we don't need it. Because yeah. I, I, I remember when the San Diego show was uploaded, someone asked, like, oh, can you upload this show from the Sailing Around the World? So we're like, we already got, like, a show from the Better Leg, the one that has, like, Here Comes a Bear, Dance Party, Ubi Doo, all those good songs. Yeah, we don't need we don't another need... show. We need shows that we don't have, like the Big Show or the Safari Tour, Wiggly Park. Like, yes. you know, we don't need any yes. more shows from tours. All and, right. You know. And then the last question from Carson <laughs> this is... Awesome. is what would you do if the what what would happen if the Lockie t- series two would announce? Well, it Once would be again, announced. We did not cover it, so we would. It would be announced. It would be announced. People would know about yeah, it. It would be announced. It would be a so. It would be a thing. It would be a show. Okay. Jason, it would air on TV. Because we already answered it. Oh yeah, we did already answer that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll wiggle yeah. Go to the next one. I yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for your question, though. Well, but you know, we're, we're, someone already answered that, so. The next, yeah. question, the, the, the first so. question, the next one is funny. <laughs> okay, okay, Jakey. What ask the first that? question. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Oh, all right, right Chris. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> all right, it's a question. All right, so hold on. <laughs> a little backstory to why we're laughing. Well, it's currently, as we're filming this, like January 12th. So, yes. um, yeah, this is where we work. Well, the, the Q&A was announced in November, and there's a whole bunch of holiday-related questions. We meant to get around to it, but we never did. Now we got around to it, so. Yeah, um, so, hi, yeah, Jakey asked the first question. Hi, hi it's a name by, by the, the original Josiah Jackson. Hello, Josiah. Yeah, Josh. it's a, yeah. He, he's, cool, he's a cool friend of mine, actually, from Instagram. I know, I know uh, anyway. Jakey. Yeah, ask Jakey the next one, because that one's directed toward Jakey, not any of us. Oh, yeah, anyways. Yeah, I yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. First question, are you excited for Christmas? Well, considering well, it was like a month ago. I'll um, say that, well, yeah, I mean, Christmas was awesome. It was definitely... Christmas is always exciting. Yes. It was definitely better than last year's. Yeah. Maybe. So. Christmas is amazing. It's amazing. Next question. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite, our favorite holiday, to be honest. All right, I, I'm done. I know this thing. All right, what's it like working with my Jesse Mag and Jason Plesson on the Walk music video? It's actually yeah, what was it? Because it's it's out for people who don't. It's on his channel. Yeah, it's actually on my Jesse Mag, my Jesse Mag Entertainment's YouTube channel. I th- I thought you were about to say something my ch- <laughs> on your channel. <laughs> yeah, he did. Channel, he right? did. He said it. Because, because my Jesse, because no. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was about to say. Jakey was about to say his chip. Yep, it's on Jakey's channel. Go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, it was actually fun to do that music video, which I know Terry Fredrickson, um, Ryan Boy, and Jason, you know, of course, in your part for that music video. So you know, being with them for that, be part of the music video with them for that project, it was fun. So yeah, thanks for asking for that, um, Josiah. Um, all right, and the last question. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Another funny right, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I excited for 2022. Wow, it's already ha- well, it's already here. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. considering it's, we're it's, in 2022, it's, it's, considering it's, it's, it's January, um, yeah, it's already uh, been bad, but uh, we're, 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 all right. We're in the January, future. Yeah. We're in the future I mean, right now. It hasn't been all but, bad. Yeah, but it hasn't been all that bad. We lost uh, two people. Already, pretty but, crap yeah. deaths. We've Bob lost Saget. Betty White and Bob Saget, two like icons. Yeah. So. Well, Betty White yeah. was last year, but like barely, so it's still. Okay. Oh, we got Facebook questions now, everybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, here we go. So, yeah, Facebook... yeah, we'll see what's expected, you know, for the rest of this year. I'm just uh, so yeah. Thanks, yep. thanks everyone for the questions to say answer to you guys so far. Yeah, so that's I guess it for YouTube. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah. So moving on to Facebook questions, we got a question from Robert Wallace. Never know, don't know who he is. 
Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys plan on interviewing Bob West, the original voice actor of Barney the Dinosaur? That would be maybe. that'd be we've cool. We've talked about it. We've talked about it. Yeah. We've talked about it. That'd so be cool, who though. knows? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I so, just love hold, cool. on, hold on, hold on. Can, can, can we just take a second to? <laughs> I know what to, the next question. No, no. Can we take a second to write the first part of the, Robert Wallace's question? Um, have, have, yes, I have a question. Well, of course you. Have. Yes. <laughs> what the heck, Robert Wallace? You're watching. What the heck? Um. Uh, anyway, oh, um, Carson Maynard Smith is back again. Will Emma Watkins be your new co-host? Emma, no. That, okay, I'm about to she is a famous. Possible, considering but, she's a famous. She's, she's busy. She's busy. No. Like, she's got stuff. She's busy. Considering incredible. she's famous and now she's an ex-wiggle. I don't uh, think I just that would be likely. Though. He asked questions three times for different stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, um. <laughs> All right, that's it for Facebook. We only have two questions. Oh, yeah, Matthew. You get it. Now we're going on to Twitter. <laughs> yeah. All right. Twitter. All right. John Arthur Young. What is one, one question I have is, would you like to see dancing, see Christmas dancing videos and green screen videos from the OG Wiggles on YouTube? I mean, I guess. I mean, I if they have them. videos would be cool. Yeah, if they have them. I mean, cr- Christmas dancing videos, Christmas is past, there's a, I guess. There's yeah. a green screen dancing video of Wake Up. Well, not dancing, but green screen video of Wake Up, Jeff. Yeah, yeah but, like, that is cool. So. That's amazing. It'd be amazing <laughs> if we get more of those in the future. We That'll, got one question right. from the email. <laughs> one yeah, question we... from the email. It's actually Carson. It's man. actually for Jake. Wait, yeah, yeah, it's Jake, Jake answering... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jake yeah. Is. Sure. yeah. You're right on that, Chris. All right. Carson Mee- Meelan Smith, once again. All right. What if Emma chose to not hang up the yellow skivvy? Well, she, then she wouldn't hang it up. Person. She'd still be a wiggle. Then she'd still be a wiggle. That's the only answer. <laughs> <laughs> she'd, she'd, be a, she'd be the yellow wiggle. She would. Uh, d- yeah, yeah. yeah, she wouldn't have. She wouldn't have retired. That's not. It's, it's a simple answer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway. that's, our, questions are from that's our one question from our email. Um, the only question on the email is now, now to the final. Um, the, now to the final question is the Instagram questions. David yep. McAnally question asks, "Where and how did you learn to sing?" So I uh, just watching those wiggles and stuff you got me into singing. Yeah, pretty much. Really, I always knew I had a voice. I mean, yeah, it's like singing in the shower and stuff. <laughs> that was in the past. <laughs> Alright, why well, you got the next question? Alright, but yeah, for me though, yeah. um Oh sorry. I, it, it's fine, Chris. It, it's fine. So um how I started, you know, um where I how I started learning how to sing is I remember I started like back in third grade I was starting doing chorus classes on elementary school. Qu- choir? Yeah, I did choir as well. Do you mean choir, not chorus? Yeah. Well, 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 that was called chorus back then. What was... the? Okay, I don't, I don't think I've What's ever heard it school? called I'm calling him out. Chorus. I think I've only ever heard it called choir. Guys, guys, guys. That, that's that's that weird. We're calling him out. That is weird. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, right. guys, I don't think school? We're calling him out. Whoever, whoever school he went to, it's called Every choir, not I've chorus. Been, I've been to, I've, in my, in my lifetime, I think, and, well, including preschool, I've been to four schools, none of which, well, some of them didn't have choir, but uh, the ones that did have choir were called choir, not yeah, not chorus. chorus. <laughs> what school was this? I'm kind of curious. Tell us well, something. Right? Jakey's school. He's not going to give away the name, of hey, course. Wait, 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 keep going. How did you yeah, understand? Um, and, and then, you know, I did that uh, in fourth and fifth grade, and then, you know, middle school, and then tenth grade. And then, and then... It, and after that, I really, um, Wiggles and Michael Jackson really gave me like, gave me back into back into singing mostly, but mostly the Wiggles really, because you know, they got me, got me, got me improved singer especially. Uh, what I remember that I started recording songs back in uh, for that for the community groups I'm, Wiggles Bar Street bands I'm in. It was like back in like I don't even know. I think it was like Parker was your 2019 first, or something. Where I remember I used to record on on the laptop and then the actual like no, you used series. to record on your phone. Yeah, 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 that's what I was talking about. And then when I was gen- and then in January of 2020, I think that's when I started recording. You know, that scene, which of course you know, 
studio kind of like up. Yeah, yeah, you not don't up, need a tutorial. You know, look it up. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then more I was in the community. You know, the more improved single that I was. You know, so that's how I just how I learn how to sing and improve and everything. So yeah, thanks for thanks for the question, David. All yeah, right. There- you guys, you two want to, hold on, you two want to answer that jinky, you just can't go to the next question. <laughs> it's not giving you and Matthew a chance to answer it, Chris. Well, I mean, I just said, well, I mean, I mean it, it, yeah, I, my it, answer is kind of the same as why I just watch, watching yeah. and listening to the Wiggles. Thank yeah, you for me, so. Aaron Dino Kalax asked, what's our favorite food? I, I can answer this first. <laughs> all right, all Chris, right, Matthew. Uh, well, uh, so my mom makes this dish. I don't know. Um, it's it's really good. It's it's chicken and bacon, and and it's like chicken wrapped in bacon. It's Ooh. really good. Oh, oh that's that's that is satisfying. It's <laughs> it's really good, and it's it's my favorite dish. She always makes it on my birthday. So nice, yeah. nice. For me, I'd say, well, you know, I have a ton of favorite foods. Um, it always changes. Sometimes I do too. I can't, I can't pick one. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's buffalo wings. Sometimes it's pizza. Sometimes it's macaroni and cheese. Sometimes, you know. Yeah. Uh, but honestly, I guess I'll just say pizza. You, you can't go wrong with a good pizza. Yeah, I, I pizza agree. Pizza. With you on that. You can't go wrong with pizza. Pizza, pizza. It's you and pizza. me. Pizza. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> over, right? yeah. And what about you, Fire? <laughs> I, I agree with Chris. It just it just changes every time. Yeah. So I don't and, have it. Really. And my favorite my favorite food is 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 of course definitely my my, my favorite never changes actually. It's it's pizza. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thanks for for the, <laughs> thanks for the <laughs> question, like Aaron. The question that we already could have answered with the past. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the question, buddy. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I get to I get to go to the we next. Walk out the room after this All right. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Disney guy, 1999. What was your plans for Thanksgiving? Well, <laughs> hang out with family. There you go. Thanksgiving last year. Um, I do. Uh, our answer is most likely the same. We all spent time with our family. Yeah, so. definitely. I was watching Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, which that was fun. Yeah. To watch. Yeah. Um, was in you and Sesame Street was part of it. That would be all. Oh, that was. Yeah, we part. just watched the parade, and then my dad, and my brothers came over. That was fun. I went to my. I went to my. I went two places. I had Thanksgiving lunch and dinner. I went to my aunt's house for lunch, and then I went to my grandma's house for dinner. So I just hung out at my house. So mm. yeah. And I, went, and I went, and after that, I went to my grandma's for, you know, for Thanksgiving yeah. dinner. So mm-hmm. all right, so that, that was that was fun. Hey, we already answered. Totally. All right, so yeah, yeah, we've already we've answered that one multiple times. Sorry, right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We answered, it's funny that we mentioned him too. Okay, okay, yeah. Toby. That was I was go, I was going to Greg because Shane's already been answered in a way. Well, yeah. no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, thanks we'll, for the question. We'll That's still say it out, but... Shane. Sorry, but we, we'll we still say it out for, so. But, but yeah, thank you so. so much for the questions, um, Toby and Shane, but someone already, already yeah. um, you know, had the same question you know, or answer before. Yeah. You know, so Ziggy, but, yeah. thanks for it, though, um, Toby and Shane. Which we actually, which, which we I actually like this. Which, which we actually mentioned you, you by the way, Toby, if you're watching this. Which I know Toby actually likes likes our show. So thank you so much for that, mm-hmm. Toby. Yeah. Yes. He, he was the yellow wiggle for the wall box, and he's a cool, right. he's a cool man. Mine. Speaking this is of a good Google question. Box, I was about to say. Like speaking transition. Speaking of wiggle roll box, transition to the next question, Jakey. All right, <laughs> that may make sense. Can you know, I'm a, well, you know, me and Chris. Well, are, well no, no, I'm talking about because because of the question is wiggle roll box related. The next question. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 True. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's a question by the name of Greg, aka Beetle Jedi Forty Three, and he asks, "Did you ever think of bringing the rest of the wool box on the show?" I like well, that idea. I, I, was, I was about to say, but this isn't It'd really like hard. a community interview. Yeah. Yeah. Like but, 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 but probably. I mean, yeah. I mean, I never say. I. I it's it's not an impossibility. Yeah. Right. There's always a chance. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. But if this is more about like uh so like uh b- people like from shows and stuff. Yeah, but not really like community based. People. So mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Um and voice and, actors and all that. Yeah, let's... and uh for and um yeah, for whenever I if I'm gonna keep if I'm gonna be back doing like community interviews such on my channel which Marcus fourteen, um 
which has been a while since I've done that one. Plug in. Plug in. Hey, if you want to plug in, plug in. Hey, want to plug in yeah, I was going to say. Right, probably plug probably in. When, I, when, when it's back, probably that would be happening. <laughs> you never know. Yes. Don't, don't mind Jakey's shameless plug in. Hey, got, hey, since he did it, you guys got to plug in yours as well. I already plugged mine. I'm not plugging them. I'll plug. Musical more as well. Uh, sh- <laughs> dear gosh, she's shameless. Plug-in. I don't really upload much anymore, so I don't have anything to I plug. Mean, I mean, I, I, all four of us do video, occasionally do videos on, on my gaming channel or some crew, mm-hmm. and then I occasionally post big videos on my Matt the Wiggle, Matt the Wiggle Fan 19 yeah. channel. Yeah. So, of course, that's yeah. his. Right, Chris, you want to get to the next one? Sure. Yandrew Tube asked, how did you get people to your podcast? That, that's an interesting that's question. question. Well, all sorts of different ways. Sometimes we yeah. contact them through website. Email. Or email. Um, but I'd say m- most, most of Most of them, our interviews came from Facebook, didn't they? Most of them either came from Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, I think. Although we, we've, uh, we've done a few recent ones that we've contacted through... Uh, email when yeah. websites yeah right that's pretty much it yeah that's kind of how we get people mm-hmm. and we got one more question and I, I know he's watching this right now alex wiggle what is the biggest yeah, yeah who, who is the blue wiggle on my group say we're goals he's a cool guest you had on the show so far he, he's the coolest I friend of Phil ours Wilcher. too yes so many yeah. like i would I say before, Phil so many. because Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's probably. I think. I think that's. Yeah, that's probably the biggest. I think. Had, yeah. Philip Wilcher's I definitely one of our one here. of our biggest because um. It's definitely you know, our longest episode. Yeah, longest, yeah. And, yeah. And, but, and, that's his, and that's his first ever appearance of any interview or podcast or anything. Oh, I think he yeah. might. He may have done other interviews, but as far as like an official podcast, I think it might have been his first. I'm not yeah. really sure. Which that's insane. I mean, actually, I'm thinking that's probably over 1,000 views now, if I'm correct. But you know, uh, of course, uh, Philip Butcher is definitely one of our biggest because you know we've you know been in the Wiggles community for a long time now, and yeah. You know, I so getting anyone from the Wiggles would be big, but I again, you know, Jeff Sutphin was big, uh, Scott yeah, Schultz. and so many others that we already have. Scott Schultz, Matthew wasn't there before, but we didn't talk about Scott Schultz is big as well. If you think about it. the guy who created, oh, yeah, Java. yes, yeah. great show of me growing up. Wow, Agreed. and Nina from uh, Imagination Movers, that was yes, when they came, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that was that was a big one. I forgot about that one, I forget, I forget. I forget. That, that one was really fun. So yes, yes. That answers okay. all the questions, Jakey. You got... Oh wait, no, it doesn't. Jakey, I think said he had a question for us. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, well, that's right. Have a question. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks for reminding for that. Why awesome. sometimes I can be forget about it. All you right. Forget. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens sometimes for me, mm-hmm. and probably rest for all of you, really. Yeah, I, I, I'm curious. What is this? So, question? well, since the show is kind of you know nostalgia. What are you guys thinking about, you know, the show about, 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 you know, being nostalgia and uh, what the show has come already? Right. Uh, so, uh, 20th episode. Translation. Translation. <laughs> Translation. <laughs> what? What's what, the most nostalgic what, thing to us? No, no, I, 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 tra- I take this as what, what, what's the show to you and what does it become? The, the, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. 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 Uh, old TV shows. Well, like, I, well, like, I, like I said earlier, as for the pod, as far as the podcast, um, you know, again, like I mentioned earlier, you know, the great thing about it is we get to talk to people and hear their stories yeah. and their backgrounds and how mm-hmm. they got into what they do. And I'm glad you know people have has and, you know, has questions for us that we answered that we already that we already did. There's sorry, another sorry. haunt. We have to ask this. This is a new question. What is it sounded to you guys? Made in my childhood. But before before we get to that, I also wanted to say, as far as about how far this podcast has become, you know, obviously this is our twentieth episode, so it's quite a big yeah. milestone. We've yeah. reached a hundred subscribers. We could have been here without all you guys. Yeah. yeah. Thank so you so much thank you guys. Amazing support. Already. And then yes, yeah, so for like for six months. For six and, months. Yeah. Um. So this is like something for, that's crazy already. So this is something that we started in a previous interview, which will be coming out mm-hmm. after this one. We can't say yep. who, but it, it's, again, your hint is it's a host of another podcast. One yeah. new thing that we do. On that. Yeah, Matthew, be, Matthew, you weren't here for this. This is new to you. 
which now, we'll which we'll try to remember to do for future episodes is what is something and this this is a question for all four of us is what is something that is nostalgic to you definitely my childhood and <sighs> yeah. yeah every everything i wiggles barney blues clues those just stuff uh, everything like oh dueling pals as well everything that i grew up with wiggles yeah. barney bear in the big house pretty much anything much anything from Playhouse Disney and for Disney Channel, mostly everything from like 2002 right. to like maybe 2017, because that's kind of when right. I stopped watching Disney Channel. But I mean, I still watch some of the other shows on Disney Plus, but as far as actually watching the channel um, and then old Nickelodeon's good. Yes. Um, I know yes. recently I've really been getting back into Sesame Street. Oh my gosh. And PBS yes. and all the PBS Kids shows. Oh man. PBS Kids Playoffs Disney and Nickelodeon, all those channels and all the other things and, and, that and Noggin for me too. Oh my yes. gosh. Yes. Noggin was amazing. But I count I count Noggin as like Nickelodeon kind of because it's well, like, yeah, you, you, you gotta think you remember that. Nick Jr. as well. Yeah. Yes. All those shows just I think for most people, you know, as a kid, those you know, it was what was on, you know. Yeah, like, Miffy and all that. You wake up before you go to school and you would see either, like, Barney on PBS or, or Sesame or Bear in the Big Blue House on Playhouse. Good times. Blue's like Clues, times. Little Bill, yeah. Oswald, you know, Backyard uh, and all those shows. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, window. Times. That's crazy. Like, right. You know, that well, was before I was born, but. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember watching... Um, Disney Channel, but not really anymore. I say that's for Nickelodeon. I'm not. I don't know why. I'm not really, really watching really Nickelodeon anymore. Yeah, I'd say for me, same as for, same as for Disney Channel. Honestly, I just have like less motivation to, to watch it. Yeah, yeah. whenever I want to watch something new of Disney Channel, I just go to Disney Plus. Yeah. Um, also, something also nostalgic. I didn't mention this, but Scooby Doo is also nostalgic to me, and I still watch that to this day. Me too. So it's yeah. nostalgic. Yeah. <laughs> I rem- He's mainly, cool. Mainly watching the the movies, uh, like the specials on Cartoon Network. That's mostly. And they're yeah. still around to see on HBO Max. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah and w- watching the Scooby Doo shows, especially what's new Scooby Doo. That's say, what's new Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo? yeah, yes, I remember that. Yes. And oh, and Cartoon Network as well. You know, there were good yes. shows like Foster's Home for Magic. There's so many we can talk about. Regular shows in the Sutter Show. There's okay, I'm not, I'm not spoiling what it is, but since you mentioned there's somebody in April who has connection to Scooby Doo that we might be having on. Yes, that's right. Hmm. Um, but yeah, and you know, watching like Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry, especially that was awesome. But yeah, you know, so many, so many things, so many nostalgic things. I think we all had. You know, yeah, like also Looney Tunes. Yeah. I think Definitely. we all, you know, had great childhoods as far as like what we grew up with. Yeah, yeah, Because I was born in 2000. 1997. Uh, 2004. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, in a way, even though Wyatt was born in the 90s, in a way, all of us are 2000s kids because. Mm-hmm. Well, Wyatt was born in the late 90s. So, he, yeah. was born, he was born. He was born in the late '90s, but he got to live through all of the 2000s. I yeah. mostly did, and and Matthew and you know you know they're all 2000s kids too. And you know oh, 2000s oh. were just some of the best times in my life. I still remember a lot of that stuff very well. I remember even going to Sesame Street yeah, live. Too. I don't remember what show that was when I was a kid. But honestly, the thing about it is, it's weird. Because one thing I've been thinking a lot about is like what it would be like if we brought the 2000s back, and honestly, it oh, would be, f- be it so would be fun. Though. It would be fun, but in a way, I feel like certain things should be left alone. Yeah, because cer- because yeah. certain things were good in its generation, and to try and recreate some of it, I just feel like there are some things that should just be left alone. Yeah, it's like people trying to bring back Dana yeah. Park, which was created in, not- in the 90s, I believe. But in 1995. What- and because we're going to wrap up soon, I did want to say this. One thing that I really think they should bring back, especially with kids shows, is a lot of kids shows back then, you know, they were obviously for little kids, but they had kind of a family aspect to them as well. Because if you look at well, Bear in the Big Blue House yes. or, old, or older yes. episodes of Sesame Street, they were obviously for, yeah, they were obviously for little kids, but they had family 
aspects to them where it was mainly for little kids, but the whole family, you know, can watch it. Yeah, and that's that something that would be cool. Good uh, reboots and stuff that would be amazing as well. And now little kids show not throwing shade to the um these shows, but there a lot of them now are just kind of like you know kind of like some of them just don't like I don't like understand kids these days. Just kind of just kind of cutesy and just kind of just like, basic. Yeah, they. You just need you to see how Bear was. You know, to a you show, need to have and an that's how. Of what kids like, like, and are interested in to make a kids show. And a lot of them are kind of in your face. Bear wasn't. Bear was always a gentle and calm show. Like they obviously had some really, really catchy songs. Um, I almost made a joke. I almost just made a joke because he was he was kind of literally in your face at first because he sniffed. Oh yeah, when he sniffs the camera. I, I was like, <laughs> but other than that, he has a very warm and gentle nature, and. You know, that's that's the type of thing I want to see again. I want to see a, another show like that. The only modern yeah. show, one of the only modern shows that airs on TV that airs on TV uh, that capture that so captures the magic of the original is Blue's Clues and You because yes, because the creators yes. are the same and they still get kids these days and still understand what kids like like. Yes. Yeah. And they're still oh, wow. able to capture the magic of the original show. One of the yes. few good reboots. Yes. Yes. And Definitely. revivals, so. One of the best kids shows reboots that I know of. Yes. Well, Honestly. everybody, thank you for all your wonderful questions. Yes, We've thank had you a so lot much. of fun. In the the future. Future. Send them more. Yes. Yeah. You never know. Yes. Never maybe know one day we'll do another Q and A announcement. You guys can ask us more questions then. Uh, but probably but not, now, not, now. Yeah, not now. Maybe, maybe, but maybe not, not now. Not now. Not now. We got. We or got. Maybe as a joke, we don't tell them who they are, but they send a question for the guests. Yeah. Oh, that could be interesting. We could, we could do that. Uh, yeah. Really it could all be depends. Because sometimes, for certain people we interview, you know, sometimes we're on a bit of a time crunch. For example, yeah. uh, Mitch, uh, no, Peter Lurie. Peter Lurie. Yeah. We yeah, we kind of only had like a half hour with him, but it was yeah. still fun. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So, yeah, so anyway, fun. Jakey, do your closing. I interviewed him previously for the DJ Bob show a couple years back. Right. So yeah, he, he, he that was fun. A lot of fun. Yes. Anyway, mm-hmm. yeah. Jakey, Jakey, close us out. <laughs> All right, Chris, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, this is the news so, now. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, thank you so much for enjoying this Q and A episode, twentieth episode, and doing Q and A. That was fun to We're do. Sorry, it's been and delayed. It's... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just the holidays are very tough. We just kind of. Yep. But I'm glad that we finally do it though. You know, had to spend yeah. it with our families, and, and family yeah, comes right. first. Yeah, yes, definitely. Yes, and um, you know, finally do, doing it, which which is fun to do. And um, with all the support, I'm not sure what the podcast will, will be do one of those weeks without without your support. So thank you so much with support and everything. I have over yeah. 100 subscribers. That's just amazing. And we will be, be see you whenever when Jake Thomas Show will be turn will be have more than 200 subscribers. <laughs> Probably a little mm-hmm. long way to go. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, we are going to do another one, but not, you know, not now. But not very soon or anything. Yeah, yeah. It'll be like Probably a while. A long until we ways do another down one. the road. Yes, yeah. definitely, definitely. So, so yeah, whenever there's going to be another Q and A announcement, it is going to be, of course, be up on on the channel. Yeah, the channel. Yes. yes, definitely. Um, but yeah, hope you guys, you know, enjoy this episode and. And excited, you know, for us, answer to your questions. Yeah. Um, and can we, what you guys will come to see for for the future episodes of the show, and can we for what you will expect to see? So yeah. for what what the show is going to happen for this year, it'll be big already that we know of. So you'll freak out. It'll be it'll be nice. like it'll be it'll be a good year for the podcast that we know of for sure at this moment. So. Thank you all so much for watching. And as all of us to all of us to you all, hope you stay safe. And um You are worth it. For, yep, yes. Yep, you're you are worth, you're worth it. Yes. <laughs> like we've always said now all the time. Um, that's my new that's my new thing. I got it from a YouTuber. Hmm. Interesting word. Um so yeah, thank you so much for watching and can't wait for what you guys see for the next episode of the show. Until then, bye bye for now. Goodbye. Bye.
see you next time on another episode of Jake's Happiness Talk Show. Be sure to follow us on social media and stream us wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Bye-bye.